highly committed men and women of our Chi Kingdom gathered in Benin City to attend the annual prayer session put together by our Chi Edigens Club in Benin City. President of the club and other prominent members emphasize the aims and objectives of the club, which is mainly to foster unity progress and awareness among Aochi indigenous and ways to assist one and other in promoting the Aochi kingdom. So, just talk to us generally. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, basically, the Aochi indigenous club uh, is the body of uh, Aochi indigenous in Benin City. Uh, people that come around and work here, school here, male of 18 years and above. For now, we probably have the women's wing. The women's wing is uh, for our wives and our daughters that are above 18. We qualify the forum where they sit together and talk together. Over the years, what we have done, tried to do is we want to collaborate and to see areas where we can assist each other. The basic purpose of life is for us to look for surplus end to finance the deficit end. And that is the area we've been trying to do. Take from those that have and give to those that are in need so that the whole place will balance. And the more we can do this as a club, as a society, as a government, the better for everybody at the end of the day. British society, we have been able to register in British society. We have the, the president for that uh, for that arm. His name is uh, Usman Binaino. He's a director in the state in, 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 in ministry. And uh, we have kicked off and we want to ensure that all our women, especially, are empowered. Then our youth that needs a soft loans we can give to them so that they will be empowered so as to avoid vices. You know, they say an idle mind is the devil's workshop. So when we are empowered, then the issue of crime in the society will be reduced. I think this is one of the ways to reduce the crime in the, the crime rate in every state. And the welfare aspect of the members. As uh, the president rightly said, we have a competitive society where all members are entitled to have uh, more facilities to upgrade uh, their business as well as uh, to improve themselves. So it is an association that has been uh, rightly said in existence. And, uh, Guest speakers in the Goldwyn messages commended the club members for the unity and progress since the inauguration of the club over four decades ago and stressed the need to educate the girl child, empower the women folk and ensure that the right morals are inculcated on the children. The people of Nigeria, the issues at point are not just uh, those states oriented. It's, it's a national, national question. There's a lot of um, crisis in our hands. There are issues of moral contestation. There are issues of value crisis. Our society is now working with the head on the ground. Our socials are in the canvas. And I think it's not just about leadership. Leadership is just a tip of the iceberg. Women. But this has been what the old prophet of our Islam has preached far then that you should honor your women, take good care of them. So with this, if we empower our women uh, rightly, then everything that we are, all these vices that we are clamoring for that we don't want, will all be shredded away and will, will be a thing of the past. Without issues, praying, praying without empowerment or without doing the need will not uh, yield any positive results. So particularly on the issue of women, there is a lacuna, so to speak, between what the scripture teaches and what some Muslims actually do. The president tried to empower women because uh, we are the home builders and we need to work more on our youth, our kids, especially with the vices happening where a child will just wake up one day, want to be a billionaire, want to use the mother or brother or father for rituals. And uh, we, the women, need to sit up properly. Sit up and uh, try as much as possible to guide our kids. Members of the club and the families were treated to varieties of sumptuous dishes and refreshments. Osiyukwe Mestado, AIT News.